history repeats itself. Let me show you where I am. I'm in a very familiar place. Does this kind of look familiar? Huh. If I can get there. Yeah, Here it is. CIRC, S-E-R-C, Physical Therapy. I've been here before. Twice already. This time I'm here because of my uh, shoulder. Apparently, we say we blame it on the flu shot because that's when it began. Your guess is as good as mine. I think it's because of the flu shot. Not the um, COVID, but the flu shot on October 23rd. I looked it up. Got it on October 23rd, 2020. And among many of the things that were wrong with the year 2020, I ended up getting a shoulder that's so sore. Rain, limited range of motion. I, I kid, I say, it's, I'm like Darth Vader. I can't lift my, my arm above my head. And uh, so now we're doing physical therapy for it. The doctor opted, asked me what I wanted to do. If I wanted to do something more interventive, meaning something like surgery, or if I want to do uh, physical therapy. I opted for physical therapy. I don't like to go under the knife if I don't have to. And it's just ridiculous. I don't know what's the deal with this. I don't know what happened. I mean, all of us got the same problem. We got the We had the flu shot on the same day. Me, the missus two kids and the same person gave us a shot and we all ended up with really sore arm for a long period of time mine started at the where I got the shot and is radiated up into my shoulder and it's that it, I can't sleep on this side very long at night and uh, so it's interfering with my sleep it interferes with my work everything so, being proactive, doing something about it. But now, I'm going the wrong way. I was going to go the other way. I'm heading home. I got to go pick up some paperwork and uh, let's see what the kids are up to. Maybe take them with me. Uh, it never ends. I'm out and about running an errand all the way out here in Lee Scummit. So stopping for a little bite and some coffee. And look at this right here. They don't ever come to this side of the station. They got a very nice, well-preserved station, which is also an Amtrak stop. coming which is too bad look at that they got an outdoor facility here which I just used that's too much information man you know I did not know that nothing coming yet either way Let's go get some coffee. Downtown looking west. Another view of the station. And we're heading on the other side of the tracks here. The Whistle Stop Coffee Shop. I think Summit has a really pretty downtown. There's no parking down here because all the spots are full, which is a good problem to have. And it's also rush hour too. I think I hear a train coming.
coffee to go because unfortunately we don't have time for anything else. Yeah. Get it to go. This is what it looks like inside. <laughs> I have two hands. So I've got my frappe and a bagel. And I'm good to go. Coffee. And a bagel. Which I'll put right here for now. This history museum over here on the left, which I know when I point, I'm pointing in the opposite direction of that's uh, former city hall. Here's downtown Lee Summit, Missouri. Next right, and then right turn. This is what you might refer to as a bedroom community, meaning it's a suburb where most people who live out here sleep and then work, commute into town. There is some industry and everything here, and downtown is very lively. Very, a lot of boutiques and stuff. This is one of the better downtowns in the Kansas City area. You know, this one, Liberty, Parkville. We considered buying a house out here. The only thing is, at least some, it's about I don't know how many miles away from downtown. So it's sort of, it's kind of out here. So the commute would be pretty, pretty big. But a lot of people do it because they love the community. I guess that'll wrap up my penny tour of Lee's Summit. First Friday. I don't know what it's going to be like with the beer fluenza. But it is summer all of a sudden. June is here with a vengeance. People are getting set up for First Friday, and I'm going to go have me some uh, town topic. Mm. Oh. Sassified. We do that without the mask. I are sassified. Today, I gotta do one more errand and maybe I can take a nap. I don't know. But uh, I'm going up to Worst Buy to get the Road Video Go To or road mic to something like that. It's a microphone, wireless microphone. I'm happy with my road mic, but it's a single. They have a double now where it has two mics to feed into one receiver, so that'll mean that I have three wireless mics. I'm going to get it today. Well, I'll at least get it ordered. It'll probably come in later on in June. So. Anyway, let's hear it. Yep, we made it to the Filipino Cultural Center here in Overland Park, Kansas. Luke and Sai are interested in the dance. So we brought them in for a lesson. We're here late, so I don't know. Hopefully we'll, we're here in enough time to do it. All right, when I say 
So the kids are just watching this time. We're a bit late for the kid part, but the adults doing it. So. They're watching a video, and that looks familiar while they do that. I'm going to check out the Pardo Library. It looks pretty cool. Let's look at this stuff. Pretty neat. <laughs> I love the big gong. There's, that's actually an instrument, too. Oh, look at that big one right there. Let's see what it says. From Southern Philippines. And then the dolls. And the traditional garb. And wow, look at this table. That is pretty cool. There's a carabao. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize there was actually kind of a museum of the Philippines in the Kansas City metro area. Sometime maybe we'll have somebody show us around and explain what a lot of this stuff is. This is so neat. But anyway. Oh, look at this thing. It's like a 3D, but it's made out of shells. That is so cool. Mother of Pearl sculpture. Wow. Neato. Here's some of the dance performance and performances that Sinai Kala has done. I can only learn how to speak his Hayas and Historia. <laughs> <laughs> 